Tonight I have Marty, the drummer of the Dirty Pearls, with me. That's right. And who who are the Dirty Pearls? Well, the Dirty Pearls are a uh, loud, modern yet classic, and very fun and high energy rock and roll band straight from the Lower East Side of New York City. Straight to you. Tell me a little bit about Marty. Well, I uh, I played drums. I'm a uh, black haired hell Hellraiser, I guess you'd say, and. Uh, Sort of the team mascot for the band, I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, what do you want to know? <laughs> What's this about you being in a movie? Oh, yeah. Well, this is actually a few years back. Well, in the entertainment business, you find that uh, everything takes about ten times longer than you think it's going to. But about three years ago, I got asked um, to be in a movie called The Perfect Age of Rock and Roll. And... Uh, I accepted, and um, it actually came out, geez, was it this past summer, I think, or this past fall, and it's uh, available on uh, DVD and Netflix and all that good stuff now. It's not in theaters anymore. It's basically a rock and roll um, road movie, uh, for lack of a better term. Jason Ritter is in it, uh, Taron Manning, Peter Fonda, Kevin Zegers, and myself and my friend, uh, my friend Jason Caddick from the band Starkiller. And uh, it's, it's a fun movie, and uh, you should check it out. I think everybody in the audience should check it out. What's in the future for the Dirty Pearl? Well, I'm glad you asked. We have a lot going on right now. Um, I can't talk about all of it, otherwise I will get killed, but uh, <laughs> I can talk about some of it. Um, our album, our debut full-length album, is finally going to come out this spring, uh, spring of 2012. Uh, it's called Whether You Like It or Not, and uh, it was produced by David Kahn, who you know, is a world-class producer. He's worked with everyone from Sublime to The Strokes to Paul McCartney to The Bangles to um, Lincoln Park to Regina Spector and on and on and on. Um, uh, that was just a few. Oh, yeah, and us. <laughs> and um, that should be out, you know, March or April and a uh, tour to follow. And I can't wait for everybody to hear it. It is a huge rock and roll album. Like, it sounds huge. It uh, it sounds arena-ready to me, you know, even uh, even though we play clubs. <laughs> and uh, the huge drums, you know, um, huge melodies, killer guitars, you know, thundering bass, everything you want, you know, in a rock and roll album we have here for you. And uh, I'm really excited for everyone to hear it. It's been a long time coming, and... Uh, you know, I just can't wait to get it out there and, uh, as David Lee Roth says, raise the flag and see who salutes. <laughs> well, a lot of people have been asking for your older uh, songs as well. Well, you know, uh, we we did some recordings before, um, but you know, it's you know nothing in comparison to this, at least in terms of production and all that good stuff. Um, some of the old song, uh, older songs will, uh, a couple of the old songs, I should say, will be on the album. Uh, Sucker for a sequel, for example, will be on it. You know, and uh, we gave that one a facelift, and uh, I think everyone will like it. I was just listening to a rough mix uh, of that last night while I was. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, on the subway platform over here waiting for the train and was, uh, I caught myself pounding my foot into the platform to it. So, uh, I think everybody will really like it. At least I hope so. What's the Dirty Pearls website address? That would be thedirtypearls.com. And from there, you can go to our Facebook, our Twitter, on uh, YouTube, all that good stuff. Um, our Tumblr site, which is sort of our news site, and uh, you can hear a little bit of our uh, of our music. I think we have uh, Who's Coming Back to Who streaming on there. And you probably can uh, buy the music from a link on there, too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, iTunes, Amazon, um, two songs from the album are on there already. And uh, we also have uh, brand new t-shirts that we uh, just put up there as well. And uh, they have our logo on the front and then the New York City is a drug um, logo on the back. They're really cool t-shirts. I have one here someplace myself, as a matter of fact. People are always stealing them <laughs> from, from me. <laughs> Same logo that's on your drum. Uh, yeah, yeah, the new logo, the one that's in the, uh, who's coming back to Who video, except it's, uh, instead of black on white, like on there, it's white on black, but yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Not off the top of my head, but, um, you know, I'll probably think of something later when it's too late. <laughs> well, 
that's usually when we do it. I did just get an endorsement from uh, Pisces Symbols. That's Real excited right, yeah. about that. I remember reading about that. Yeah, they're uh, they sure are beautiful symbols, man. They 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 positively shimmer, and uh, I had them for all our recent shows, and they, they make my drumming better somehow. You're they're kind of like women in that regard, you know what oh. I mean? I've noticed that uh, you're kind of like an animal when you get in there uh, drumming. Did you break your hand recently uh, when you were playing or something like that? No. No, I never break my hand while I'm playing. Um, I've never broken, uh, knocking on wood over here, I've never broken a bone in my life. But what does happen sometimes is, uh, you know, you'll be playing a drum fill and you'll be playing it really hard and you'll think you're being really badass, right? And then you, sl- you, 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 your aim is a little off and you slam your knuckle into the rim of your floor tom over here and there's blood all over. And it's really cool while it happens during a show because, you know, you feel... You feel like the He-Man drum killer of the 18th century or something, but afterwards it hurts like a... Oh, yeah, and you, and you have to clean up. Yeah, that's that's the big but, problem. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, Alice Cooper's drummer probably liked it even better than I do. That would be a real downer. I would figure something out, though. It's good talking to you. Great talking to you, and, you know, uh, thanks for all your support. You know, you've uh, you've been uh, helping us get the word out to the people since the beginning, and that, uh, that I really appreciate that a lot.